or does your dog get anxious during thunderstorms? It's not an uncommon issue. Thunderstorm anxiety in dogs is a prevalent problem that many pet parents grapple with. Dogs, much like humans, experience fear and anxiety, and thunderstorms, with their loud bangs and bright flashes, can trigger these emotions quite intensely in our furry friends. So, what are the signs that your dog might be suffering from thunderstorm anxiety? You might notice your dog panting more than usual, pacing back and forth, seeking out hiding spots, or even engaging in destructive behavior. They're trying to communicate their distress, and it's up to us to understand and provide the help they need. Remember, while these signs may be distressing for us to watch, it's even more traumatic for our dogs. So, it's crucial to approach this issue with as much understanding and empathy as possible. Now, let's dive into understanding how we can help our furry friends during these tough times. First, it's essential to understand why dogs become anxious during thunderstorms. Thunderstorm anxiety in dogs is a real and serious issue, and it's not just about the loud noises. There are several reasons why our furry friends might find these natural occurrences quite distressing. One of the most obvious culprits is the loud noise. Imagine being in a room and suddenly, without warning, there's a loud bang. It would startle you, wouldn't it? Now, consider that dogs have a much more sensitive hearing than humans. The thunderclap that merely startles us might be downright terrifying for them. But it's not just about the noise. There's also the matter of static electricity. You know that feeling when you touch a metal door handle and get a small shock? That's static electricity. During thunderstorms, the amount of static in the air increases, and dogs, being so much closer to the ground and having a heightened sense of touch, can feel this. It's like tiny shocks on their fur, which can obviously be quite unsettling. Then there's the change in barometric pressure. Barometric pressure is basically the weight of the air around us. When a storm is brewing, this pressure drops. While we humans might not notice this, our canine companions can. Dogs are incredibly sensitive to changes in their environment, and this drop in pressure can make them feel uneasy. Many dogs also pick up on the flashes of lightning. Even if the blinds are closed, the sudden changes in light intensity can be sensed by dogs. This can further add to their anxiety. Finally, dogs are incredibly attuned to their humans' emotions. If they see us getting anxious or worried about the storm, they're likely to pick up on that and become anxious themselves. Understanding the cause can help us find effective solutions. By identifying the factors that contribute to thunderstorm anxiety in dogs, we can start to develop strategies to help them cope. So, now that we know what's causing our dog's distress, let's start exploring how we can help them. Now, how can we comfort our dogs during a thunderstorm? A question that no doubt many of you have asked. The first thing you can do is provide a safe space. Dogs often feel more secure in a small, enclosed area. This could be a crate, if your dog is crate trained, or a small room like a bathroom. Make this space as comfortable as possible with blankets and your dog's favorite toys. If your dog chooses to hide under a bed or couch, that's perfectly fine too. The key here is to let your dog choose their safe space. Don't force them into what you think should be their refuge. Another method that has shown success is the use of calming wraps. These wraps apply gentle, constant pressure similar to swaddling an infant. It's believed this pressure can help reduce anxiety. They're readily available to purchase, but you can also make one at home with a scarf or bandage wrap. However, it's important to make sure it's not too tight and your dog can move around comfortably. Playing calming music can also be a great way to soothe your dog. There are even playlists specifically designed for dogs available on various music streaming platforms. The music helps by drowning out the scary sounds of thunder and rain, and the rhythmic beats can have a calming effect. But perhaps the most important thing you can do is to remain calm yourself. Dogs are incredibly intuitive and pick up on our emotions. If they see you're anxious, they'll likely become anxious too. So, take a deep breath, maybe even meditate. Your calm demeanor can do wonders in helping your dog feel more relaxed. Implementing these techniques may not completely eliminate your dog's fear, 
but they can certainly help reduce their anxiety. It's about trial and error. Figuring out what works best for your dog. Every dog is different and what works for one may not work for another. Remember, the goal is to make your dog feel safe and secure. Because in the end, that's what we all want for our furry friends, isn't it? To know they feel safe and loved, especially during those scary thunderstorms. Another effective method to help your dog is through desensitization and counter conditioning. Let's delve into what these terms mean and how they can be beneficial for your canine companion. Desensitization is a process that involves gradually exposing your dog to the thing that causes anxiety, in this case, the sound of thunder. It's like dipping your toes in the water before taking the full plunge. This technique helps to reduce the fear response over time by making the scary thing seem commonplace and non-threatening. Now let's talk about counter-conditioning. This is a complementary technique to desensitization. While desensitization works on reducing the fear response, counter-conditioning aims to replace the fear response with a positive or neutral one. Think of it as teaching your dog a new way to perceive thunder. Instead of associating thunder with fear and anxiety, we want them to associate it with something positive. So, how does this work in practice? Well, you'll start by playing a recording of a thunderstorm at a volume so low that it doesn't provoke any fear in your dog. While the recording is playing, engage your dog in fun activities, give them their favorite treats, or just spend quality time together. The goal is to create a positive association with the sound of thunder. Gradually, over time, you'll increase the volume of the thunderstorm recording. Always observing your dog's reactions and never pushing them beyond their comfort zone. Remember, we're aiming for a slow and steady acclimatization, not an overnight transformation. This process requires patience, commitment and consistency. It's not a quick fix and it shouldn't be rushed, but with persistence, this method can lead to long-term results. It's like teaching your dog a new language, the language of thunder. And once they understand it, they realize it's not so scary after all. With patience and persistence, this method can lead to long-term results. Sometimes, despite our best efforts, professional help may be needed. When our canine companions are dealing with severe thunderstorm anxiety, it's crucial to remember that there are experts out there who can help. These professionals could be dog trainers with a specialty in behavior modification or veterinarians with a focus on behavioral medicine. Dog trainers can work with you and your furry friend to develop coping mechanisms using techniques that may be more advanced or nuanced than what we've covered so far. On the other hand, veterinarians can explore the possibility of medication for severe anxiety these medical interventions aren't about drugging your dog, but rather providing a tool for relief while you work on longer-term solutions. It's important to remember that seeking professional help isn't a sign of failure or a last resort. It's simply another path towards ensuring your dog's comfort and happiness. Don't hesitate to seek help if you feel it's needed. Your dog's well-being is worth it. So, to summarize, there are a variety of ways to help your dog during a thunderstorm. We've delved into the various facets of this issue, and I hope that you're feeling more equipped to support your furry friend when the skies darken and the thunder rolls. We kicked off our journey by understanding the cause. Remember that dogs are sensitive creatures and their heightened senses can make thunderstorms particularly unsettling. The loud noises, flashing lights, and even changes in atmospheric pressure can trigger anxiety in our canine companions. Next, we discussed comforting your dog. This is where your role as a pet parent comes into play. Providing a safe space, maintaining a calm demeanor, and offering soothing distractions can all contribute to easing your dog's anxiety. Sometimes, something as simple as a favorite toy or a cozy blanket can be the difference between distress and comfort. We then ventured into the realm of desensitization and counter-conditioning. This is a more proactive approach, where you gradually expose your dog to the sounds and sensations of a storm in a controlled environment. Coupled with positive reinforcement, 
This method can be highly effective in reducing your dog's fear over time. Lastly, we touched on seeking professional help. If your dog's thunderstorm anxiety is severe or if your efforts to alleviate it aren't yielding results, don't hesitate to consult a professional. Veterinarians, animal behaviorists and dog trainers can provide valuable insights and strategies tailored to your dog's specific needs. Remember that every dog is unique, so what works for one might not work for another. It's all about patience, understanding and being there for your dog when they need you most. There is no one-size-fits-all solution, but armed with the knowledge we've discussed today, you're well on your way to making thunderstorms a less daunting event for your dog. Remember, your calm and comforting presence can make a world of difference to your anxious dog. Good luck, and here's to happier and calmer dogs during thunderstorms.